So in this case, I have two observers are 1.6 miles apart, and they see a hot air balloon, air, hot air balloon between them in the air. So let's just go ahead and draw here two observers. Okay, these two observers are 1.6 miles away, right? They recognize a balloon here, looks like a mushroom, um, up in the air. So we have an angle here, right? Because it says the angle of elevation from each observer to the hot air balloon is 36 degrees and 28 degrees. And it doesn't tell us which one, so we're just going to pick. But then the question says, find the height of the balloon. Now, if I need to find the height, we practiced that, right? That was the first question we asked you in this chapter um, or section was how to find the height. And we realized that we know, like hopefully you recognize, OK, this represents the height. But again, like we need a side length, right? If I'm going to use trig, I got to have a side length. I got to either know this or this to find h. So should I maybe take, that kind of looks like in the middle. Should I take 1.8 and divide it by 2? It would be nice. It would be easy, though, right? Doesn't I mean it looks like it's good, but yeah, that's important. It doesn't say the high, like that's in the middle. It doesn't say the balloon's in the middle. Agreed. And obviously, if it was in the middle, those angles would be the same as well, right? So um, it's not going to be middle. Yeah, you just can't divide 1.6 divided by two, but we do have a side length. Could we, if we could figure out this angle, then we could figure out um, we could create a ratio. So do we know what this angle is? Oh, you guys figured it out, huh? So 180 degrees minus 28 degrees minus 36 equals what? 116. 116? Cool. So now we can create a ratio. Now, should we, does it matter if we create a ratio with this side or that side? No, we just got to do it, right? I'm going to choose this side. Um, I'm going to call this A just because I want to. Again, guys, letters doesn't matter. You can call it anything you want to, OK? Um, but therefore, I'm going to say the A, these markers, I like just open up a new pack and they're all like dried out. Oh, See, told you. This one's bad too. But anyway. So we have A over sine of 28 degrees, right? That's the corresponding angle with the side, is equal to. We can say 1.6 all over the sine of 116. Right? Now, we can do this. Now, I already showed you guys how to solve this. So again, all we're going to do is multiply by the sine of 28 degrees on both sides. So hopefully you guys get that. And then somebody steal my calculator? Why is my calculator gone? Am I get it? Can I yeah. Oh, could you give me my calculator? You guys keep on stealing it and moving it, changing it on me. Make sure you're in agree mode. Um, so therefore, I'm going to type in 1.6 times the sine of 28. And I'm going to divide that by the sine of 116. And if you did that correctly, you should get A equals 0.836 rounded miles. <coughs> but it's miles, right? Not meters? Miles. Right. So we got to make sure we distinguish that, because there's a difference, isn't there? So make sure, again, units matter in this, in this problem. So we got to make sure we write in the miles. Now again, we still haven't solved our question. We just found this length. However, now do I have a right triangle that I could solve for this? Right Now I could say the sine of 36 degrees equals h over 0.836. Now, there's a problem though. Did I tell you not to use rounded answers? Yes. So, if you, there's a couple of options you have. If you have a graphing calculator, you could usually just use the second answer button, which basically just means as long as you don't, as long as you keep that answer there and multiply by, like when you type in sine of times sine of 36, it's going to take the last answer that you had and multiply it by sine of 36. Um, that also works for a lot of the calculators. We're also going to practice using the store function. So you could actually store this as well on your calculator. I'll show you guys how to do that. Or worst comes to worst, 
you could always just write down the digits and then retype in the problem on your calculator. Agreed? But we really want to make sure, I don't want you guys getting marked down because you're off on the thing. Because again, once you round once and you use the calculated answer, you're just, if you, as you keep on using calculated answers, you're going to keep on getting further and further off. Agreed? Right? If I needed to walk directly east, or where's east? There's east? Yeah. If I need directly, directly east, right? And I'm maybe off by one degree. East is that way? Yeah, so if I'm walking east, I don't even know what I'm thinking, but I'm walking, and if I walk directly east, but let's say I veer one degree off. By the time I leave this building, you probably are not going to know. To, not going to know. Or let's say one tenth or one hundredth of a degree off. You're probably not going to make a difference, right? However, if I walk, if I'm able to walk all the way, you know, like to the beach, you guys see, I'll be could be pretty far off, right? As you keep out, the farther and farther you walk, that distance is going to get more and more things. So we don't want to use calculated answers. So what I'm going to do is take this answer, second answer, and then times it by the sine of 36, and that's going to give me 0.49. So I'll say h is equal to 0.49. You don't need to whisper it. You can just say you can just write it down 0.49 miles. Okay.